I'm Bob Warfield from CNC Cookbook and today's video I'm going to talk about drilling deep holes in machining. Let's start by defining what a deep hole is. It's really pretty simple. Any hole that's more than five diameters deep is a deep hole. Why do we care? The reason is because deep holes are hard to drill. With deep holes there are problems clearing the chips, getting the coolant down deep to provide enough lubrication. Cooling is difficult and holding your tolerances on position, diameter, and the surface finish of the hole are all difficult. What this means is we need to use some special techniques whenever we have to go more than five diameters deep, and that's what this video is all about. This slide right here is the one you want to grab, print, and post on your wall. It summarizes the techniques you'll need to use with progressively deeper holes. For holes less than five diameters deep, no worries. Just drill straight down with proper feeds and speeds and you should have no problems. In the range of five to seven diameters, you'll need to start peck drilling. From seven to 10 diameters, you need a peck drill and you should also be using twist drills with special parabolic flute geometry. From about 10 diameters up to 20, you can still peck drill with a parabolic flute drill, but you'll need to consider programming custom drill cycles for best results. Beyond 20 diameters, you need a whole new approach. You'll need to start doing gun drilling or something similar. That'll take you all the way to 400 diameters, and I hope that's deep enough for any application you might encounter. Let's get some detail on each of these techniques. Peck drilling. You've tried it, right? It's that distinctive in and out like the oil well pump jack picture. If you get more than five, meters, five diameters deep, you'll want to peck drill. Start with very short pecks, just a slight retract to break the chips. Stick with that all the way up to 10 diameters deep. Beyond 10 diameters, you need to start doing longer retracts to help pull the chips out of the hole. Just don't retract all the way clear of the hole or coolant will wash the chips right back down the hole. The exception to all this is most carbide drills don't like pecking. Carbide is brittle and you can chip the tool. So if you're using carbide, you may have to skip the peck cycle. Check with your tool manufacturer to see what their recommendation is about pecking. Parabolic drills. Once you get to seven diameters, you want to use a parabolic flute drill. They have a special geometry, like what I've shown here, to help optimize their chip extraction. You get better feeds and speeds, even on shallower holes, and you can go a lot deeper with a parabolic flute drill. Beyond 10 diameters, you need to consider a custom drilling cycle. In fact, if you want to get the maximum performance, the best tool life, and the shortest cycle times, you might even consider custom drill cycles for any hole over 5 diameters. What a custom drill cycle does for you is it dynamically varies the motion based on hole depth. It starts out with short decks, short pecks that happen very infrequently, and as you get deeper, they have come more and more often. Then it'll start to retract, not very far and not very often, but the more you deep you go with the, with the drill, the more you'll get the retraction motion. By varying all of this, you're avoiding wasted motion. You do each thing just enough to get the job done, and the end result can save you a lot of cycle time if you have a lot of deep holes to drill. You can program a custom cycle yourself or use a conversational programming wizard like the one I have pictured here. That particular wizard is from my G-Wizard Editor, G-Code Editor, and Simulator. It has a bunch of other conversational wizards too. Suppose you have to go more than 20 diameters deep. What then? Hey. We're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. A completely different technology has to be brought into play. The most well-known is called gun drilling, and as you'd expect, it was invented for boring, accurate rifle barrels. 
These days, a lot of applications besides just gun barrels are doing gun drilling. There are other approaches similar to gun drilling that are newer and give higher performance. What they all have in common is very high pressure coolant and geometries that include lots of chip clearance. They'll get these deep holes done and produce very high quality results. In fact, they typically require no reaming or honing at all. So you might even find they're faster for shallower holes that require the second op. For the most extreme applications or to maximize your performance further, you'll need a purpose-built deep hole drilling machine. The main thing these machines do versus sticking a gun drill in your lathe or mill is they have even higher pressure coolant than what you can manage that way and they counter rotate the tool in the workpiece which produces better results. If you've got all of that going for you, it's good for up to about 400 diameters deep. Pretty, pretty deep, right? I hope I never have to deal with anything that deep. I'm Bob Warfield. Thanks for listening, and I'll be back soon with another CNC Chef video.